Hello listeners, a warm welcome to your interesting channel. You may not have time to read or watch everything by sitting in front of the computer. So this channel helps you to learn things by listening. This mainly focus on telling things in voice recording so that you can listen them like you listen songs while you do morning walk or when you are in journey or when you are tired to read but you have energy to leave your ES work. So this channel is for all those crazy people who likes to utilize their journey and walking time. So let's dive into our today's topic is to know about different types of cultivation. Depending on environment and so some extent culture, different types of cult cultivation systems operate in various parts of the world. Today we will know about some important agricultural practices that followed in the world. The first one is sed sedentary cultivation. It is also called as settled cultivation. It's the practice of continued use of land year after year. This is the normal practice in most of the world including India. The second one is shifting cultivation. The system works on a principle just opposite to that of sedentary cultivation. Land under this system is used for a few years until fertility level drops. When the farmer moves onto a new plot of land, this type of farming is practiced by less advanced society in India in the tropical regions. It is also called burden slash cultivation. In India, this type of farming is common in areas inhabited by tribal people. It's known by various names such as Jhumi Assam, Onam in Kerala, Podu in Andhra Pradesh and Orissa and Beva. Masha, Penda and Bera in various parts of Madhya Pradesh. Other areas of shifting cultivation are Southeast Asia, Africa and parts of Latin America. It is called Ladang in Malaysia, Kuma in Indonesia, Chungya in Myanmar, Tamarai in Thailand and Milpa in Africa and Central America. The third one is Terrace Cultivation. In mountain area in mountain areas cultivation is done on terrace fields in a manner not very different from settled cultivation in terms of land use this method is adapted to conserve soil on steep slopes the fourth one is wet or irrigated cultivation this is the practice of farming with the help of irrigation in regions where rainfall is not adequate or where it is highly seasonal Rice and sugarcane are crops typical of the system of cultivation in India. The first one is dry cultivation. Dry farming is done in areas where there are no irrigation facilities and the rainfall is also limited in amount. Crops grown in such areas are resistant to dry conditions. In some areas, crops grown normally under irrigated farming are also grown without irrigation facilities. Large areas of Russia, Southeast Asia, North America, Australia and India come under this type of farming. Sixth one is crop rotation. This is the practice of growing different crops in succession, in succession to the soil remains fertile. The crops are so selected that some of the obtain nutrition from the lower layers of the soil while the others have shallow roots. In between are grown leguminous crops which helps in enriching soil with nitrogen. Following of land is also sometimes a part of the rotation. However, the practice of keeping land follow is on a decline in most of the parts of the world due to increasing pressure of population on land. The seventh one is mixed and multiple cropping. The term mixed farming is used to refer to different systems of farming. In some instances, it is used as a synonym of mixed agriculture and rising and mixed agri agriculture meaning an almost equal emphasis on growing of crops and rising animals. A more common usage of this term refers to growing of 
multitude of graphs in the some in some in the same region and this sense it is opposite to monoculture cultivation of a single crop over a large area in one cropping session is called monoculture the third connotation of this term is the practice of growing a number of crops on the same land in the same growing season sometimes a number of crops of different periods of season different periods of maturity are grown on the same land in such a manner that when one crop is harvested the other starts growing and the land is thus occupied continuously by one crop or the other the system is called relay cropping growing of two or more crops on a given plot of land in succession in one year on the other hand is called multiple cropping such so practices of obtaining more than one crop from the same land or typical of region having a high pressure of population on land example parts of europe china japan and india these practices can be adapted generally in areas of irrigated farming thank you listeners we have seen different types of cultivation in the world we will follow and come up with many many videos in general studies in geography and in history biology indian national movement what not everything please like subscribe and comment on our channel if you like our videos thank you again <clears throat>